Hey everyone, I wanted to share this really quick tutorial for you on how you can really easily use the free digital math tiles with your students using Google Classroom. So if you haven't already, you will be downloading two Google slide files. One is going to say digital math tiles landscape and the other one will say digital math tiles portrait. So I want to let you know that these two files have completely different content. The only reason why they're separated is because some were in a portrait format and or page setup and some were in a, um, oh, excuse me, landscape page setup and some were in a portrait page setup. And you can't have one slide file with different page orientation. So just know that you're going to want to look through both of these files to see which topics are going to be appropriate for your students. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of grade levels that are covered here. Um, if you're a middle school or sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade teacher, and you're teaching um, four quadrant plane graphing, um, you would probably want to use this file. But if you're a third or fourth grade or slide, if you're a third or fourth grade student, you're it's probably not going to be appropriate. Um, this would be something maybe you would want to use if you were teaching third, fourth, or fifth grade. So you're going to want to look through these because some topics are going to be for specific grade levels and others are going to be for multiple grade levels. You are definitely going to be able to find several of these math tiles that you can use with your students. So if you want to assign some, you can assign multiple to your students or you can assign just one at a time. And in fact, if you're just starting off, and you're also just starting off with distance learning like many of us are, I would suggest just assigning one slide at a time to your students just to keep it simple. Now, if you want to um, assign multiple slides, you just select the number of slides or the specific ones you want, um, and then you can make a copy. But I'm just going to do one. So I'm just selecting this one, and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to make a copy and I'm just going to do selected slides and then choose a place on your Google Drive where you're going to want to save it. I have a folder for Google Classroom demo, so I'm going to save it there. And once you have what you want to push out to your students saved somewhere on your Google um, Drive, you can, first of all, you can rename it. So since this is pretty specific, we might want to rename this all operations maybe. And I'll just put math tiles here or math tiles since it's just one, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then you have that file saved. So you can go into your Google Classroom. You are going to click Classwork and then you will create an assignment. So you'll click on assignment and then I will just do math tiles, all operations. Ah. Okay, and then you're gonna add that slide which you saved on your Google Drive. So you'll go to My Drive, usually it's right there, um, but if you saved it in a specific spot or you saved it a while ago, uh, just remember what, what folder you saved it in and you will uh, just find it there. So I did cl a Google Classroom demo. There it is, and I'm gonna add. Now this is important. This right here, <laughs> you need to make sure that you click make a copy for each student, or else all of your students are gonna be working on that one file in your Google Drive. You want them to make a copy to their Google Drive, um, do their work on that copy and then submit it to you. So you want to make sure you click that. Um, and then as far as points go, it's not like a Google form, so you don't need to assign points. You can add them manually if you want later. Um, you're actually going to be correcting student work uh, the good old fashioned way by looking at an answer key and letting them know if it's correct or if they need to re-examine their, Google, their um, math tile and fix something. So you are ready to assign. Again, you can assign it to all your students or you can select students, but you then can collect, um, um, click assign. Now I am going to now log in as a student so you can see what it looks like. But in order to do that, 
I'm going to just close out all these windows because um, Google gets a little confused. There we go. Um, oops. Yeah. Uh, Google gets a little confused when I log in and out as a student and have multiple windows open. So I'm going to log in as a student now. And this is what the student will see. They'll click on their classroom and they will see that they have this new um, uh, uh, assignment. And this is where they're going to show their work. Now, because you clicked on make a copy, this is how they will turn in their work. So they'll click on this and they will do their work. They will um, try to figure out where these go. And once they have all of the file files, um, excuse me, the tiles placed on here, then they can submit their work and then it will get turned back to you for you to check. So I'm just gonna place these here, but um, this is of course not gonna be correct, any of this. I'm just randomly placing the tiles here. Now, your students cannot be in present mode to manipulate these tiles. They are gonna be in edit mode and that's okay. And they just have to make sure that once they think they have it correct, of course this is not correct, um, all changes saved in Drive, they can go back to their classroom and then they can turn it in. So they'll turn it in and all that work they did, all that tile manipulation they did will be saved and sent to you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna log in, back in as a teacher. See, that will let me, awesome. Um, and I can click on classwork. Oh, actually, let me click here. And I can see that this student turned it in. So I can click on it and I can see all of his work. And so what I would then do is you would get a, um, uh, your answer key and you'll have your answer key in PDF format. So you just have another window open. Check to see if it's wrong. If students have like one section of math tiles correct and another section incorrect, I don't tell them. I just give them, it's like pass or fail. I either say yes, the whole slide is correct, or go back. And you can even leave a little comment like, uh, go back, try this again, you're almost there, whatever it is. You can give as much guidance as you want. If you wanted to be specific, depending on the student and say, you know, the multiplication and the division's correct, can you go back and check this? Or this section looks good, but this one section, not so much. You can give whatever feedback you want here. And then if they got it correct, you can also assign the points you want uh, to assign right there. Um, so that's basically how you do it. It's super simple. Uh, it's nice because it's really, it's still tactile in a way as much as you can for digital because, you know, the students are manipulating and as they think they're able to move around um, the pieces. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at info at teacherthrive.com.